Uh, yeah, they fall into a couple of categories. As far as uh, acting on voiceovers and doing this sort of thing is concerned, uh, actually working on several different uh, anime series right now. One of them is uh, called Band Dread, which I believe just came out. Uh, I'm getting VP in that. Another one is uh, I just started working on Lupin the Third, which is uh, coming out later this year. I'm playing the lead in that. And, um, and the, the third one is, uh, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, as a director and a writer, uh, working on a real about high school and um, a GTO and a couple of other projects like that. Um, I also have a company that I've started. Uh, we just put our first uh, live educational puppet show into schools in the state of Florida, and that just started up this year. And I continue to write and pitch uh, projects, uh, different kinds of television stuff. Okay, well, I can, yeah, Robotech moment. Um, uh, I was uh, one of the creators and uh, co producer of Power Rangers when I first on here. And on uh, my first, uh, it was the like second day on the set of the pilot, uh, we, uh, we had a couple of new characters come on, and one guy was a gentleman by the name of Paul Schreier, who plays the part of Bulk in the original series. And uh, he's a rather large gentleman, and we were standing in line, at the breakfast line, before we started shooting in the morning, and just conversing, and he asked me what I Know, my background, so I started talking about it and I mentioned Robotech. And um, he went completely crazy. It turned out he was a total Robotech fan, had stuff in his dressing room <laughs> regarding Robotech. And uh, he, you know, I was there trying to get a Joe going, and he was asking me for my autograph. It was just very weird, surreal. We became great friends, actually. We still see each other frequently. Um, it's a little surreal to be working on Robotech again. Uh, it's been a long time since we did the original. And, uh, although there's been a lot of little fan things that have come up from time to time and conventions. And by and large, it was something of the past. So uh, to be here doing it again and to be working with all of the same cast members. Hero is kind of the antithesis of Rick Hunter. Rick's kind of the reluctant hero. He's he really not a, a, a big testosterone-laden uh, he-man of a fighter. Uh, he fights because he has to and because uh, he wants to uh, live up to Roy's legacy more than anything else. Hero is a, is a, is kind of a he's a fighting man. He's a he's a tank commander. You know, destroyed's kind of like a tank. He's a tank commander. He's really in the grips of it, and he has an extreme hatred for the the Zentradi. So um, that's always playing in the background. Uh, he doesn't want to be nice to the Zentradi that have, uh, have uh, come over to the human side. He wants them all gone. So it's it's very different. He's not a gentle guy. He's he's kind of forceful, rough and tumble. 